Midnight Terror at the Cursed Villa. Hello friends, this time I'm going to share a scary experience I had at a haunted villa. If you want to know more, check out my Twitter account, the link is in the description. Let's get straight to the story. My name is Ronnie. This incident happened in 2018 at a villa in City B. Back then I was with five of my friends renting a villa to celebrate a birthday. On that Saturday evening we gathered to celebrate. My friend Dion was the loudest, singing like he was drunk. On the other hand, Aziz was the quietest, just sitting in the corner munching on snacks. The one having the birthday was Sophia, a wealthy girl whose father owns a famous restaurant in Jakarta. That day, Sophia was celebrating her 23rd birthday. Aside from Sophia, two other female friends, Tina and Dewey, also joined us for the celebration. We arrived at the villa around 3.30 p.m. The villa looked nice with two floors and a swimming pool in the back. After getting the key from the villa's caretaker, we went inside and saw that the villa was spacious and clean, seemingly well-maintained by the caretaker. There were three bedrooms in the villa, one downstairs and two upstairs. We chose to hang out on the second floor. After joking around and chatting, we decided to relax by the pool at the back of the villa. As the evening progressed, the air became colder. At night, the caretaker returned to remind us not to swim at night. We thanked him, and he left. As it got later, we played cards upstairs. Suddenly, we heard a knock on the door. We thought it was the caretaker, but when Sofian opened the door, no one was there. We started to feel uneasy, but tried to stay calm. The knocking resumed, this time louder. We hurried downstairs again, but there was still no one there. As we went back upstairs, the knocking came again, but this time from the window. Dewey was terrified and started crying, while the rest of us began to panic. Suddenly, we heard someone talking from the bathroom. Yet, there were only five of us in the villa. We then heard the sound of glass shattering, making us even more frightened. When Sofian tried to open the door to leave the villa, we saw a woman in red standing at the door. Dewey and Tina fainted immediately, and Dion even wet his pants. We were frozen in fear, but suddenly we heard a banging sound from outside. Some locals came and asked, what are you doing in this abandoned house? We realized that the villa was actually an old house that had been abandoned for a long time. The next morning, as the sun rose, we clearly saw the rundown building. It wasn't a villa. It was an old, neglected house. The locals told us there was no caretaker like the one we had met. We still can't believe what we experienced. Who was that caretaker we encountered? That remains a mystery.